Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Taste Buds with a very special episode. We've got a special guest. We've got a special double header with drinks and some snacks for you guys today. Let's get to it. Welcome back. Brandon, thank you for joining the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, we've, we've got a little setup here. What, what is this? All right. Well, today um, we got two items here. We've got some tequila, uh, some Reposado Cazul 100, and we've got some Mezcal. And so we're going to compare them and see what we think. Cool. I've always heard of Mezcal. I never knew what it was. I thought it was tequila. Is it not? It's, well, so no. So Mezcal is similar in that it's made from agave, um, but that's about where the similarity ends. So it's um, there's a lot of different varieties that can be used in it, um, different regions. It's produced in a different way than tequila is. Uh, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what it tastes like. Oh, I can't say I'm excited for this. Tequila <laughs> is just, oh. Um, but let's do it. Which, right. one, so which one do you want to start with? So let's start with the tequila, since we both drink in tequila, and uh, get a baseline, and then we'll jump into the mezcal. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Okay, that's not bad at all. No, that's actually really good. Yeah. I like that. Hmm. Yeah, that's like I got no I got no kickback. Mm mm. Got a bit of smokiness to it, but Yeah. It's um Okay, that really good. That one's a little worse. But <laughs> still still not definitely not bad. Oh, I like that one. Uh forty percent, so it's still it's a good it's pretty normal, right? Pretty normal and it, it is a reposado, so it's a little bit, it's aged a little bit more um, than a silver or a Blanco would be. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Jump Let's go. Let's go. All the right. Let's go. Okay, that was a little, a little rougher. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got a it's got a unique taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's still smoky, um, but yeah, it's it's different. Yeah, no, that one's definitely a lot smokier, a lot more. Um, it kind of reminds me of Scotch, kind of just because of the smokiness. Mm, it does, it does. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> no, I mean, well, I'm trying to think what that flavor, what it's like. It's yeah, it's kind of it's it's more like a cleaner type yeah. of a mm -hmm. something about it. Um, it's but it, it's it's pretty potent for the you know the alcohol in there. Yeah, it'd be interesting to uh, see how this tastes in a drink, though. You know, maybe maybe the flavor will lend to whatever we put it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, with the it's also forty percent, so eighty proof. Um, but the burn is a little. I definitely noticed the burn. Mm -hmm. The yeah. tequila was. The tequila was smooth. Yeah, that I, I could drink that. Mm -hmm. um, this one, like I said, you know, interesting to see how it mixes, but I don't know that I drink it by itself. Yeah, no. Does mezcal? Do you drink it by by itself, or is it usually I'm a sure mixer? Somebody drinks it by itself. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I don't know honestly. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've I've tried it, and first drink I've made with it. So we'll see. See how it goes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna finish this one. <laughs> okay, and for our first snack, we have wrap snacks. This one is a uh, little baby. And where'd you get this? Walmart. All right. Yeah. Shout out to Walmart. Uh, salt and vinegar, barbecue, onion, garlic, and more. I'm concerned about the more, but all right. <laughs> That's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. It's got a thick coating on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not terrible, but yeah. I definitely taste the salt and vinegar. Mm -hmm. I don't know about like barbecue, onion, garlic, and more. Well, I feel like it's like you can taste something there, mm -hmm. but it's all 
mixed like so much mixed together it's just too much coming at you at once yeah yeah but you definitely get the salt and vinegar and then the rest is just a mismatch or whatever just a, a whole lot coming at you yeah i think um i don't think i would choose this as a snack on a on a regular no somebody had it there and i was really hungry i'd probably munch on it yeah but you know maybe they were high you know when they're high and then like you just throw a bunch of shit together oh contains a bioengineered food ingredient that's comforting yeah bioengineered all right hmm. okay well, well wrap snacks <laughs> All right, and we are back. Uh, Brandon made us this nice mixed drink. What is this? This is a Last of the Oaxacans. It's a take on the last word. Um, the only difference is it uses mezcal instead of gin and was the primary reason for buying the mezcal. So haven't tried it yet, but hopefully it's good. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. That's um, definitely a better use for that than just drinking it straight. Oh, yeah. It reminds me of a, um, a margarita. Mm -hmm. It does. A lot like a margarita, actually, which is interesting given the ingredients that it comes out that way. Yeah. No, this is really good. Really surprising for how much I did not like that <laughs> uh, earlier. But, um, you know, mix it with the right stuff. It's good. That's right. <laughs> um, so what is this? What did, what did, what did you put in this? All right, so the drink is equal parts of the mezcal, green chartreuse, uh, luxardo, uh, maraschino liqueur, and lime juice. So really easy to make, just, yeah, uh, three quarters ounce of each. And that's it. Oh, not bad. So what, what, is, what, is, what is chartreuse? So chartreuse is just an herbal liqueur uh, from France. It's a really old, old recipe. Um, made by monks it's been around for like you know 400 years something like that wow um it's used in a lot of uh, a lot of different cocktails and stuff but it kind of brings just a a unique um just kind of a unique herbal uh flavor to the drinks do is it just a mixer or can you drink it like straight oh, you, you could, i mean you could drink it straight um yeah honestly i haven't tried it straight but i mean it smells good and i'm sure it tastes pretty decent on its own like I'm, I'm sure when it, you know, for years it was drinking on its own before it was added to cocktails and such, so. Oh, it does. It smells good. Yeah. It smells um, kind of minty and leafy. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot going on with it, but it, it just brings a little bit more of a complexity. Mm -hmm. So. And it's 55%, so it's, yeah. it's even it's, <laughs> it's even stronger than that. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Strong stuff for most. I mean, most liqueurs you get are usually kind of down a little bit from that. I'm not sure what the maraschino actually is. Uh I don't know if it even, oh yeah, thirty-two. Oh, so that's down quite a bit. But yeah, typically your liqueurs are um, a lot less, but mm -hmm. that one's definitely up there and yeah. makes for a nice drink. And then, so what is what is this then? A, just another liqueur, another kind yeah, of so, mixer? Yeah. So Luxardo, I mean, it's been around forever. Um, you know, known for the maraschino cherries and maraschino liqueurs. And it's not a super like it's not really there's not like a strong cherry flavor or anything to it. Um, but it does bring um, bring kind of a nice element to the drinks, and you know it's more of a subtle flavor, but um, it works well. And I've, I've tried multiple drinks with that, and usually they come out good. So, hmm. yeah, not bad. Yeah, no, this is really good. Like, yeah. it's um, it reminds me of margarita. Mm -hmm. So like, summertime, just hanging out. If I had a pool, be hanging out by the pool. Yeah, I mean you could definitely throw some ice in there, or whatever, make it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like an iced, iced margarita. But I know it's interesting. Like I said, it's interesting how different the mezcal was, the taste-wise, from the tequila. Yeah, yeah. And then you add all this stuff in, and somehow you still come back to a margarita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Because, like, I feel like thinking of the tequila, that would have mixed with this really well. Mm -hmm. And not so much the mezcal. Right. But it's, I mean, it's just fine yeah. to me. I don't know. It'd be interesting to try it with, I mean, try it with the tequila, but just to see what the difference really is. But yeah. I, I think that's what makes it. I mean, you know, otherwise I'm sure the drink would have called for just straight tequila if, yeah. if that, you know, worked better. 
Mm, not bad. Too easy to drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might not be a good thing. Nope. Or it might be a good thing. Might be. All right. So Sweet. for our next snack, what do we got? All right. More wrap snacks. Uh-oh. Ricky Ross. Sweet chili lemon pepper. Hmm. All right. Doesn't seem quite as complex as the other one. But. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I don't mind these ones. No, that's a little more straightforward. Mm -hmm. You can identify the taste in there a little bit better, not so convoluted. It looks and reminds me a lot of just like barbecue chips. Yeah, it does. Mm. And I really like barbecue chips, so. It's good, but it's almost like a lighter barbecue. Like it's not that kind of syrupy. It's mm -hmm. a little bit lighter uh, texture. Yeah. No, this one's not bad. I think the other one had a lot going on. Mm -hmm. But this one is, um, this one's good. Yeah. Always helps when you've had a little drink too. But. True, true. <laughs> okay, bring that one back then since we've, we've had some to drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, still, still a lot mm -hmm. going on. No, that vinegar hit you. Jeff, what? It makes it put them together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you do that. Yeah. Uh, Jeff's producing today and suggested that we mix them. So let's see. No. <laughs> no. This... This, uh, the vinegar in this is just like really strong. It takes over everything. Yeah. So even mixing them, it, it, I still taste nothing but vinegar. All right. Okay. So Brandon. Yes. Do you like mixing? Do you like all the, the, the mixed drinks and stuff? Yeah. Is that your thing? Well, it seems to be lately. I, um, like typically, um, I usually just drink you know straight whatever if i'm just drinking whiskey or something i just have whiskey on the rocks or something like that um i i don't stray very far from whiskey typically um but lately i've really enjoyed just making cocktails just mixing them just finding different kind of unique flavors and um you know looking online looking for just different recipes and stuff to try and mm -hmm. you know it's something that that actually sounds good you know there's some kind of weird ones out there um but find something that looks good and making it and trying it out. So lately, uh, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely enjoying the cocktail uh, journey. Nice. So. Yeah, no, because this one's good. You found a you found a good one with this one. Good. Because you said you haven't done you haven't done this before, right? No, this one I haven't. I did the um, the last word, which was the gin version of this drink, and that was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. So that was that was um, the char chartreuse. Mm -hmm. The what is that again? The Luxardo Maraschino liqueur, and then gin instead of this. Yep, gin and lime instead of the mezcal. Okay. So, but yeah, I like both versions. They're they're definitely different. Like the, I mean, this is more margarita. Obviously, the one with gin is not, mm -hmm. but it's so that, that makes it unique and and it's it's a lot uh, smoother, kind of just just different experience. But yeah. it's a really good drink on its own. So I'm actually glad that this one um, kind of brought you know, a different take on that because um, it's still good in its own right, but it's like just makes it a completely unique drink. Because this, yeah, because this one was really sweet. So with gin, was it as sweet? Um, I don't recall it being as sweet, no. I mean, it was it was smooth. It was mm -hmm. blended really well, but it wasn't overly sweet. Um, it, it just had a really nice balance to it, a very kind of clean uh, tasting drink. So, yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, and then I think it's time for our, our last... All right. Our last snack. <laughs> the sour cream and ranch. Sour cream with a dab, dab of, ranch. of ranch. All right. I do like sour cream. From the Migos. Ranch, so. All right. Mm. Mm. That's good. But well, your, your, your hmm seemed like. So it's all right, but there's like. It's almost this fake sweetness to it. So okay. You have kind of sour cream ranch, but then it's like this kind of sugar, you know, sweetness that doesn't seem natural mm -hmm. with it. 
I mean, it's probably processed as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. Definitely not bad. It's just uh, not not exactly what I was expecting. Yeah, yep. it does have those bio... Uh, Another bioengineered food ingredient. <laughs> it's got to be what I'm tasting. <laughs> yeah. But the flavor itself, the sour cream with a dab of ranch, it's not as, you know, definitely not as complex as the salt and vinegar and everything... No. Everything in that one. It's pretty straightforward. Just a weird, weird sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I think I like it. I think I like the um, the other one a little bit better. The <clears throat> sweet chili lemon pepper yeah. one. No, I think I agree. I think that this one is still the best one. Mm -hmm. But for me, it would go this one. And then I wouldn't even, yeah. I wouldn't mess with the other one. No, I wouldn't either. Cool. Well, there you go, folks. Have some drinks. Have some weird ass chips. And it's a good time. Brandon, thank you so much. Thank you. Everybody, drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs>